conversations that happened around our table as we were growing up. Speaking about politics, community service, involvement in our, in our surroundings was always a high priority. I was raised with a strong sense of social justice and responsibility for participating in my community. I uh, got my, my first start in, in taking action was when I was in the sixth grade in Hot Springs, Arkansas at Jones Elementary School. Back in the 1970s, when I was in the sixth grade, only boys were allowed to be crossing guards at my school. And I gathered my, my girlfriends up, organized, <coughs> and spoke to the principal, explained to them that I, I and my girlfriends wanted the same opportunity that, they, that the boys had. And before the end of the year, I was installed as the first alternate as, as a girl. And uh, after that, it was a co-ed program in the schools. That's the way I've lived my life, standing up for other people, speaking out, and uh, trying to make a difference where I live. I attended Hollins College, which is a women's university in Roman, Virginia. And my first job out of college was working on Capitol Hill for the city of Lake Shelby. My husband and I met in Washington, and we have been married for 20 years. We have two daughters. One is Sophie Claire, sitting in the room with us. The other is Hannah, who is a sophomore in college. And I spent the past 19 years basically focusing on my girls and on my community being active and making a difference. So I, I've been on the PTA board at Vernon High School. I'm on the Diocesan Council at, at St. Timothy's Episcopal Church and served as a Stevens mentor, <coughs> helping, helping people going through crisis. I'm an officer in the Fort Knightley Club, which is the oldest women's club in Virginia. So really I'm most proud of, besides being a parent of one of the Claire, is my work with Supervisor John Faust, who's the trained citizen. Over the past five years, I have worked at the community level, helping people solve their problems. Didn't matter if they were Republicans or Democrats, if somebody needed a pothole fix, they called me and I got the yacht out there to make it happen. A few examples of the work that I've been able to, to do. One is with the innovation station, the, the proposed metro station. I made sure that the right people were at the table from the community, the folks who live closest to the community leaders, people so that the town of Herman had a voice. And I, along with the senior staff from Fairfax County, from Loudoun County, from the town of Herman, VDOT, and um, the airport, worked together to create the, the comprehensive plan and to also look interjurisdictionally inter -jurisdictionally to, to create some new plans for um, reducing congestion working with the local level. I also have worked with senior citizens over the past three years, helping them learn how to stay in place so that they wouldn't have to move to a nursing home. Uh, maybe you've heard of the village movement and something that's taking place all over the country. We work with community leaders, businesses, nonprofits to help harness energy and resources that are not using tax dollars. I, though, have been watching what's happened in Richmond, watching us on Saturday Night Live and The Daily Show, and getting very frustrated with what's happened. So I decided to put my money where my mouth is and run for office. I want my daughter to be able to make personal decisions for themselves. I want them to be able to come back and live here and have an affordable housing, be able to get a job, and I want to be able to use our transportation system to make sure that it's fully functional. I hope you'll come out and vote. I hope you'll be a part of the process, do the research to understand what policies are in play, and I thank you very much for your time. My name is Jennifer Boisco. My website is jenniferboisco.com.